I mean, cul de sacs the only place we haven't been to. Oh god, it's him. We drive through the cul de sac and everything seems to be pretty normal. Looks like Brian's doing some yard work, yeah, right? Freaking just standing there looking like he's doing yard work, I'm sure. Pull into Brian's driveway and hop out. I don't know about that. Hey, don't step on the grass, I just mowed. Have you seen any of the unusual activity in the area today? Hey. Aside from your underwater lawn? Oh my god, I just want to punch this man. I just want to absolutely deck him right now and just, just get him out of here. Get him out of my sight. How dare they make you the green character. Oh, here we go. How dare you. I take my lawn care very seriously. Aaron, please. Huh. Haven't seen a dog run through here, have you? Hmm. Well, a few hours ago I heard Maxwell barking at something. When I came outside, my garden had been torn to shreds. Going to take forever to retill the soil. Hmm, that could be a dog, or rather feisty raccoon, or you, Brian, in a drunken stupor. Whatever it was, it must have been hungry. Ate all my tomatoes. Hmm. Brian's hard to hear about your garden. You need assistance restoring it to its former glory. Please don't hesitate to contact me. Oh. Will do, buddy. Good luck finding that dog. Hmm. hmm she's probably still hungry. I wonder if she's looking for more food elsewhere. Dude, I've been everywhere. I've literally been every everywhere! Or maybe cul-de-sac, but other places? I'm just, that's the only place I can think of. We're right back at the cul-de-sac and everything seems to be pretty normal. Seems like Brian has gone inside. His garden is immaculate. This it looks so dang good in like half an hour! I can't believe it! How does he do that? Why can't I do that? I guess this is an insecurity for another day. But do you turn and keep driving. I fear that the night draws closer and closer with every passing breath. We must find the Duchess soon. This is serious. Hope we find her. I mean, food, coffee spoon, that's, I, I back to the coffee spoon. Hey, Matt. Guys, I think, I think I may have seen that dog you were looking for. What? You did? A brown mastiff? Hmm. Size of a house? Yeah, I saw it digging through the trash in the back. It ran away when I tried to get closer, though. You see what direction it ran in? I think for a second. Hey, dude. Might have been running east, I think? That pup tore through three panes of old grateful banana bread. Wanna take some for the road, just in case? Sure thing. That package is up a slice. Thanks for the slice. The road slice. This grateful banana bread is gonna be good. So good. I think he meant to give it to you for the dog. Right, I meant it's gonna be so good for the dog to eat. I feel like we're on the right track. You think? If we keep this up, we'll find Duchess in no time. And if you like dogs so much, why don't you have any? Lucy is severely allergic. I wouldn't put him through that. But there are still dogs in my life, so for that, I'm grateful. About to be one more dog in your life, buddy. Splendid attitude. Let's, let us not waste any more time. Barely. Alright, east. This, okay, north. Every, yes, yes, east. So, east of the coffee spoon is the cul-de-sac! Find it, we arrive at the cul-de-sac to find everything looking normal. Except, uh-oh, Hugo's front door is wide open. She can open doors. Hmm. This is classic Duchess Cordelia, a telltale sign. We should approach with caution. But if it goes down in there, I got your back. Creep onto the porch and step inside. Oh my god. They're sitting in the center of Hugo's living room. Looks like she owns the dang place. It's one of the biggest dogs I have ever seen. Woof. Well, she hasn't broken anything in here yet. Huh. Wonderful. So all we have to do is get this leash on her before she tries to escape again. And get out of here before Hugo comes home. Easy peasy. Hmm. Duchess, come here. Duchess eyes Damien warily. As he approaches, she begins to growl. Huh. She's on her guard. We'll need another plan. And her dark treat, try the softball. For the grateful banana bread! Let's go, eggplants! I reach into my pocket and pull out the slice of grateful banana bread Matt gave me. That just sniffs the air and hones it on the bread. Come here, girl. Nice and easy. I've got some yummy homemade vegan and possibly gluten free banana bread if that's what you're into. 
The Duchess cautiously approaches me and gives the bread a good sniff before gently taking it from my hand and dropping it on the ground. Like dogs always do for some reason. It curls up and starts munching on the bread. Success! Damon walks up behind the Duchess and attaches the leash to her collar. She immediately notices and starts whining. Time to go home now, Duchess. Damien gives a tug on the leash and she won't move. Duchess, what happened to our rapport? You and I used to be bosom buddies. So doesn't move. She's huge. There's no way we can even try to lift her. Well, this is a weird situation to be in. I think we're literally trespassing on our friend's house with this large dog. And this is where Hugo comes in with his with his wrestling muscles and just absolutely picks the dog up with one arm and just walks to the shelter. I'm ready, dude. This is what's gonna happen. What are you nerds doing? I'm gonna assume this is Ernest. What are you nerds doing? Ernest stands in the doorway with a plate of pizza rolls. <laughs> what other pizza rolls are those? Uh, pepperoni blast. Nice! The Duchess noticed Ernest and starts pulling against the leash. Why is this dog in my house? It's a long. The Duchess suddenly breaks through from Damien's grips and hurdles towards Ernest. Oh god, it's gonna freaking eat him. Ah! Ernest and the Duchess fall to the ground. Pizza rolls fly everywhere. This is bad. Ernest, are you okay? Ernest feeds the Duchess a pizza roll. Hey, she likes pizza rolls. Ernest sits up, but the dog keeps looking his face. Oh, hey. Ernest stands at the door, looking like he's at a loss for words. Ernest is so happy. What? What? Why are you guys... Whose dog is this? A long story, but it involves a large dog. He knows how to open doors. Boof. Here you go, may I present to you, Duchess Cordelia. Hmm. How do you do? Borf. <laughs> We're friends. The Duchess looks at Ernest's face. She's from the local animal shelter. She got out, and we've been chasing her all around town. Uh. Your house was your final stop. Dad, can we keep her? Uh. Ernest, I don't know if we're set up to take care of her. Whoa! Wait. Did you just call me Dad? Come on, please, look how cute she is. Here you go, size. Hmm? We had been talking about adopting a dog for a while. But you have to promise me you'll take care of her. Yeah, I'll give her all the pizza rolls her little heart desires. I suddenly remember what's on the back of this map and pull a pin out of my pocket. Got the forms ready for you if you're interested. Oh. I'll even waive the adoption fee since, you know, we technically broke into your household. Oh. Well, alright. It's a deal. Okay, this is not at all. All what I expected to happen, but it's a pretty cool ending. You know, steps up, steps onto the porch with us and signs the form while Ernest plays with the Duchess inside. He sure seems happy with his new friend. Ah, I know. He called me dad. Can you believe it? He even places a hand on Hugo's shoulder. Hmm. I certainly can. I think this would be really good for Ernest. It should teach him some responsibility. You're probably looking to getting better locks on your doors, though. That's just a wily one, but do right by her, and she'll love you too forever. Thank you. Probably for the best it went to Hugo, though, because he's probably the only person in this universe, honestly. He could lift her up. And long story short, the Duchess now lives happily in a happy home, and neither of us were charged for breaking and entering. So all in all, I think it was a fine day's work. Nice work, you two. Aaron, you could be a viable asset to our team of volunteers, you know. If you ever feel like petting some puppies, hit me up. Mary, I always feel like petting puppies. Hmm? Good to know. Well, I'll catch you in the petals later. Mary starts to leave. And one last thing. Hmm. Damien's been telling me all about you. Glad he finally brought you around. Oh, yeah? Ugh. It means my special boy. I love him. He went way back and I got a vested interest in his health, success, and well-being. If you ever heard him... Hmm. Mary... You can fill in the blanks. I go. I wonder what's what's going on there. I know that obviously they're not like romantically charged or anything, but she cares for him a lot. Yes, ma'am. Or at least we live with Damien. So about the whole goth thing. I um completely understand if you aren't interested in me anymore. What? Am I missing something here? 
I'm not a cool goth prince. I'm boring. I own five pairs of tennis shoes. I wear dumb glasses. Don't you care? I mean, it's honestly, it's probably it's better for me. I don't, like, if this if this was Damien from the start, I'd probably have been more inclined to talk to him, to be fair. He looks so nervous. <clears throat> Damien, do you really think I only like you because of all the goth stuff? That's all cool, but the best thing about you is how passionate you are about the things you love. History, art, Victorian fashion, dog, storage, solutions. It doesn't matter what it is. You care. And that's awesome. Also, the glasses are very cute. Oh, exactly. I don't think I'm boring at all. If they're boring, then I don't know what that makes me. I too much time online shopping for flashlights. I get excited to mow my lawn on Saturdays. I get cranky about commercials being too loud. I've even been thinking about making my own peanut butter. Huh. Maybe we can be boring together. It would never be boring if it was with you. Even something closes the gap between us and pulls me into a hug. He buries my face in his my sh wait. He oh, buries his face in my shoulder. His hair smells like lavender and rosemary. <laughs> what? There's. I've heard that combination before. I don't remember from where, but ah, whatever. I was so scared you wouldn't like me. Right, the opposite. He pulls away for a second, looks me in the eye. Without the colored contacts, his eyes are so dark and soulful. I mean, they're pretty bright for me. Oh. May I kiss you? Ah, oh, dude, I was gonna go with that one, but you gotta go with that one, right? Like, that's just funnier. Barely, you may take upon yourself the. You know what? Just kiss me. And also, eggplants. Let's go. Oh, slightly and leans in, giving me a gentle kiss. He even pulls away and gives me an intense look. Hmm. You want to help me take care of the puppies? Yes. Although no, would be my actual answer. Uh, okay. So he's, oh, okay. So it's usually purple, but they're yellow normally. Okay, I can see the differences now. David and I arrive back at the cul-de-sac. Our fingers intertwined like a proper gentleman. He walks me to my doorstep. <laughs> it was lovely. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for everything. I'm very happy I can be myself around you. I'm glad, but I have one request. Huh? What's that? Is he gonna ask for IT service? Can we keep sending each other's letters? <laughs> but of course. He gives me one last time before turning around and heading home. He, I was, I would obviously be asking him for IT service. And runs back to the couch from the window and tries to look as nonchalant as possible. Round two. Hello, father. I was sitting here on the couch this entire time. Hi, Amanda. Mm -hmm. So, you guys like starting a vampire coven together? Oh, plot twist. Mothman. Damien's actually Mothman. <laughs> Didn't see it coming either. Mm. Genius. Well, whatever's happening, I'm really glad you two are happy. You deserve it, Dad. Aw, shucks. Gonna head to bed. Catch you in the morning? Your sure thing. I make my way to the room and fall onto my bed with a heart full. Excited for the days to come. Alright, now here's where it randomly says that Lucian and Amanda are friends. Again? My dear friend, you've simply taken the egg on this one. Oh my god, it's gonna um, do the egg thing again? T taken the egg is a, uh, it's a, <clears throat> it's a, it's a Victorian phrase. It technically means winning, so, uh, you've, ultimately, you've, you've won. Let's go. Also, having an S, I had that one bad remark, the, the joke that messed up or whatever. I guess the the batter mark probably got overshadowed by the two eggplants, though. So I mean, whatever. I'll take an S. I'll take three S's, dude. Absolutely nailing these dates. And this is when we get to see how it went. Nope. Hey, I'm just gonna you know, skip through everything. Ah, blah, blah, blah. You're the best guy, uh, father. Yep, yep. TV and um, something. Ah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Ah. That's. Oh, let's go! The better, the cooler Damien. Yes. Alright, new stuff? No, it's Pablo. Alright, so Pablo, yep. 
You're cool, Pablo. Vacant Vale. And all that. Uh, hey! <laughs> so Mary's the quote-unquote side character for this one. That's cool. I'm cool with that. I'll go to Mary, who's having a lively conversation with Amanda. A real fluffy sim? Samo head, what is that? I mean, of course it's probably a dog, but... I don't know, I've never heard of that one before. Fluffy sim head right now, his name's Harold. Loves belly rubs, he always tries to lick your face if you get too close. Hmm. Mrs. Christensen, I thank you so much for telling me in great detail about every single dog currently at the animal shelter. Please, tell me about the aft game with three legs again. Huh? Sure, Quadro we call him, it's one of those ironic nicknames. You know, if you're really interested, I could probably steal one for you. Really? Nah, but I could get you in to meet all of them. We could always use extra hands around the shelter. Mm. And if those extra hands also happen to steal a dog. But I did too able to bond over cute dogs. It really warms my heart. Hey. Dad, we're having a moment. Hey. Hey, Sailor. Your kid's a good egg. Where's your goth prince? You two are usually attached with the hip these days. He's, uh, he's around. Stellar. Can I change your attention to Amanda? Ah. Not too hard to sneak a dog into college, trust me, I did it plenty back in the day. At one point I had three cats living in my dorm. I decided to leave them to it. All of a sudden, a huge dog leaps in my arms, let's go! There's two of them! Two side characters. Duchess! You go and earn a, is Ernest run up to me. The Duchess gives my face a few broad licks and hops down. <sighs> We're working on that. Got her in a disciplinary class. She's a wild spirit who runs where she may. I don't mind at all. <laughs> Looks like the three of you are getting along nicely. Hey. She's a valuable addition to the clan. If I hold up my homework in front of her, she'll eat it. Cool. Uh. We'll deal with that later. That's just Cordelia spots a squirrel and darts across the yard. Ernest follows her, laughing. He's actually been a lot more manageable lately. I think taking care of the dog is good for him. Thanks for breaking into my house, I guess. Anytime. Uh, I don't care about you. <laughs> Hi, you can absolutely go to... Wait, what? Oh, oh, yeah, no. Okay, this is all old garbage. <sighs> anyway. Uh, bu, bu, hey, bro. Oh. Yep. Wait. Ooh, hey. Hey. Oh, no, no, no. no one cares. Hmm. Hey. Uh, Joseph, oh. yep. You're here. Mm. You go again. Yep, thanks. Cheese stuff, because we did the two... The, the two things. Yep, yeah, made a. Uh... Oh, oh. mm. That's a lot of conversations now. Yes. It's kind of cool, actually. Hey, hey. Yep, nothing. Cause I don't haven't talked to him yet. Hey. Oh my God, there's so many. Wait. Okay. I'm pretty sure I didn't skip too much. I'm pretty sure all it was was the game saying Lucian's on its way over. Hey, Amanda's dad. You're just about Lucian walking up to me. So he gets three different things? That's crazy. Yes, Lucian? Thanks for inviting me to your party. Anytime, bud. I know we had a rocky start, but I'm glad to know you. Hope you know how much your dad cares about you. Um, yeah. My dad's had a rough couple of years, and I know that it must not have been easy to raise me alone. Kind of a weird guy, but I love him a lot. And it seems like you made him happy. So, you're cool with my book. Ah, oh, let's go! Thank you, Lucian. That means a lot to me. Sure. Let me know if you want to give me... If you want me to give you a stick and poke sometimes. Thanks for going by, Lucian. What does that mean? What does that mean? What is... What is... Is that like the... Tattoo thing? What does that mean? You're out, Darren. Alright. Before I start to wind down, take a seat in our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. And it wants ever since. So, okay, so it's Amanda first. So, does it only cut to the person first before Amanda if it goes bad? Is that how it works? Because Craig, it went to Craig first before this homie Amanda thing. Whatever. Up, up, but up, up. Huh? You're the best daughter ever. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> And here we are with the cooler Damien. Take a seat next to Damien as the last guests make their way out of the party. <laughs> you know that in the Victorian area they would call benches seedy boys? What, really? <laughs> I'm kidding, Aaron. But what if? 
It's good to see you in your cities again. Oh, that's a cool word for it. Thank you. I had a revelation the other day, Aaron. I think it was largely due to your continued influence upon me. There was a version of myself that might have been embarrassed to show my you my true form. My information technology form. <laughs> but what you said about me, about how my passion was what truly admired, that emboldened me to feel like myself regardless how I choose to dress and act. Instead of separate entities, there are simply different facets of myself. A three-dimensional human being with its own thoughts, wants, and needs. I love dressing the way that I do, but feeling constricted by, by what I thought was my own personal brand made me lose sight of why I did this in the first place, to make myself happy. Place my hand on Damien's and feel a light squeeze. Looking up, I'm greeted by Damien's warm smile. <sighs> I'm trying to be more comfortable with who I am, rather than dwelling on who I could be to other people. Hey, stop smiling. I'm so proud of him. Hey man, I'm so happy you realize that you can be a dog-loving goth. Me too, Aaron. Me too. I must have inching closer and closer to Damien. Gotta brush a lock of hair out of his face and I'm shocked at how soft it is. I mean, if anyone, if anyone out of all these people would do like hair care, it would make sense it'd be Damien. How is your hair so soft? <sighs> Dog shampoo. Okay, I didn't see that coming. I wasn't expecting that. But... I mean, you, I mean, he's got to be the one, right? To do hair stuff. Keep running my hands through his hair as he leans closer to me, placing a hand on the side of my face. He strokes my cheek with his thumb. <laughs> you know, public displays of affection were considered scandalous in the Victorian era. And pulls me in for a kiss. Huh. But I think I can make an exception for you. Let's go. All right, let's see the picture. Let me see that picture. Oh, wait, first. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, we have to see if there is a song um, for TWRP. I'm gonna... Uh... I don't remember what, was, what it was in, actually. But... I remember listening to it, thinking this is TWRP. But, okay, this is, yeah, not not that, AVP. Yeah, we already went through that. This is not AVP, Ballad of One Dead. No. No, no, it's not, if it is, it's not, if it's not credited, it would absolutely be credited, right? Okay, well, never mind, maybe not. Let's go, Green with Samantha. Now, oh, let's go! I like this. The one where it's not shirtless. Let's go. And it's material. Awesome. I thought that was pretty cool. I actually, I thought that was pretty sweet. I think that was probably my favorite one yet. That last, that, that last, that third day was pretty nice. That was pretty cool.